it's arrived. Have a look at this. This is my bottom door panel. There's three stacks of it here and some doors down on the end down here. We're actually missing a stack that has to span the roof, but I'm um, dropping it off later on this week. We can get the walls up. These big thick ones here are for our incubation in our lab. They're 75 mil thick. These ones here are for our fruiting chamber, they're 50 mil thick. If you lift this up, you can actually see what the panel looks like. It's got a it's got a, a plastic sort of wrap on it. It's a titania colour. Similar colour as the floor. If you pull that off, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? So we're inside here. You can see the panelling there. We need to start aligning these first sets of panels and they're going to come sort of right down here where I'm standing. They're actually going to intrude on these bits of metal up here. So where that red marker, that red marker's there, I'm going to have to just angle grind off and the door doesn't go back that far anyway. We need to do another few things like we need to disconnect the power from this light up here and we're going to run that through that wall so we've got our own light switch on the outside here. Um, we're going to reposition this light up here. See if you can see that, sorry, spinning around. That light up there, that's going to be repositioned over here. So it's inside the lab, above your work area. The flow hoods and the um, steriliser, which we've got sitting right here, are going to sit against that wall. So that light above there, we're going to work underneath it. Um, of course, there's the incubation room with a couple of our test shelving units we purchased, which we are liking the look of. So we will fill these with our blocks and they will be just wheeled around the place. The floors are all nice and clean, nice and smooth. So we can put 40 blocks on that one there, 40 uh, five or six kilo blocks, and that will get wheeled straight into the fruiting room, which is getting built by those panels out there. One thing we're also working on is getting power out to our preconditioning room. Um, you can see I've got a hole drilled in the wall up here. I should drill that hole slightly too large. We're going to run this um, stainless conduit out there, or it might be just galve conduit out there. We're going to tap into the three-phase line here. We're going to run a three-phase power cable through this pipe, which will be straight. It's just sitting on a funny angle. We'll take you outside and show you why. We'll run that power out to the preconditioning room. So we've come outside here, and you can see there's a hole right here. That's just right there. And that pipe, I haven't drilled it through the other side yet, that pipe will go through. So if we come back here, yeah, there you go, you can see it there. That's quite far above my head. But that's the, um, where the power's going to go. And it's going to be coming here. And in here, oh, that's gotten dark, we'll fix that, there we go. In here, it's going to come through about here. And on the wall here, we will have a, probably maybe a fuse box. Um, we'll have a light on the roof. We'll have a 240 volt. 10 air socket on the wall in okay, case so you want to put a fan or anything like that in here and we'll also, uh, that's where our heat pump will pull, draw its power from. So the lights are up, we've moved that one there, you can see there from over here where it was going to intrude on the wall line, that's up in, in its position and we've disconnected this one here, this was connected to the rest of them but I don't want that connected to the rest of them because it's going to be in the incubation room where it will um, connect into one of these um, lines up here, one of these power cables and we're going to have a switch placed, most likely, on the wall here. You can imagine a door being right here. So before you enter the preconditioning room, which will be dark in there, you just switch the light on, open the door and walk in. So check out this and imagine for a second two fruiting rooms sitting here. You can see this line along the front here. This will be the front of it, and there will be two doors, door one and door two. Now, if we walk into the fruiting rooms, you come here, you open a door, you come in, you can see the outline of each one here. So there will be one, and there will be two. And you can see where my drains are sitting on the floor. So these will be made by the bond door panels. We've got all the walls. <clears throat> We're just waiting for the doors, and the roof is still getting manufactured but the roof will span both fruiting rooms. So it'll be one big roof. The HVAC will come in and run along the top and run down into each fruiting room in the top here. And you walk in and there'll be lights along the roof. And what we want to do is wheel those shelves we looked at before and they get wheeled out here and they get wheeled straight in. Then when it's time to harvest, you simply open the door, you go in and collect your shelf, you wheel it out to this area here which is going to be the processing area. So I've got a, still got to build a, a, a frame for the wall here. 
and we've got our three phase hot water heater. I love the word three phase, don't I? We've got a three phase hot water heater. So this goes on the wall and that gives us instant hot water. Just means we don't need a hot water cylinder. So we're only going to use water on, uh, power on demand for the heat, water heating. We also got a wee electric fence unit here. This just keeps the uh, heaters in the paddock in line. Ah! So here we are on Monday. Um, fortunately, I didn't get a lot done over the weekend. We did have a family gathering uh, on Saturday uh, and a few beersies. So, you know, one beersie in, turns into two beersies and that turns into sort of two dozen beersies. So yesterday I was horizontal on the couch. But it's Monday now and we're back and we're cracking back into it. And what we have to do this week and the next Continuing on from what I've already showed you is we're going to lay the plumbing as well And you can see this big trench down here that goes right the way down This is what we're going to run a poly, I think it's polybutylene uh, Hose down and we're going to run water throughout the farm. We'll just jump into the bore And we'll have a look where we're going to plumb it off or tap it off of So you can actually see this pipe that comes here and it's got its own on and off valve That just runs straight round to the pressure vessel over in the corner here so we're just going to tap straight off that there and we're going to run that pipe um, right the way down and from there we're going to send it into the into the fruiting room area there so we'll have water for our processing area for our fruiting room and also right down the end our mixing area we'll have water available out there now that water will come up here at this corner post so we'll bring it out the ground, we'll have a wee tap here and then we'll also plumb it down to our mixer which is down there. We imported that mixer from China but we're not actually going to look at that in any detail because the quality is utter crap. Like seriously crap. Like if you actually saw that you wouldn't pay money for it. But it's the risk of importing from China. Now I did a video uh, last week, or the week before, about importing the uh, autoclave from China, which I thought was really good quality. I'm not going to do a video for that because the quality is just too poor. And my channel isn't about bagging other companies in their craftsmanship. If it's good, I'll make videos about it. If it's not, I'll just forget about it. Um, it should still work. We're buying all new electrics for it, so all the stuff they've given us can just be taken off and turfed out. Um, the welding's all crap, but that's about it. Another pain in the backside is that our doors we've had made for our rooms here are actually the wrong size. Now there was a mistake um, they've made and they've made them too short and that means none of our rackings, uh, our, of our, uh, not rackings, shelving units that we've bought can actually fit through them. So they are remaking the doors for us but unfortunately that's about two weeks wait. So we're going to be slightly delayed in getting the doors in. So we really need to make some progress. I do feel like I'm still behind. So over the coming weeks, we will be putting out some videos about putting the walls up, which will be good. I'm um, getting that plumbing in and a few other small tasks we are doing. And I think after that's done, the farm will finally start to take shape. 